Okay, so I figured we actually need to add one more thing to our equipment system over here. You can equip it, you can deselect it. Uh, there is a bug that happens if you right click on it. As you can see there, we need to fix that. And I believe that mainly that is to do with the fact that we aren't checking if it's a valid slot before we're clicking it. So let's head over into your content, your equipment and your equipment slot on your right click event. Let us check if, if our item is valid. So out from the true, plug that into the branch and out from that go into and continue like so. Still an issue where, uh, no, that's actually not an issue. And now it also fixed the issue where if you right clicked, it would remove, uh, update and, re and set the item to zero, even though it's not zero. Another issue, not an issue, but another feature that we're going to add today is the ability to save this, right? Because if I click out now and I come back in, you can see that we haven't saved anything. And you, seeing as we have saves on our inventory, we have saves on our chests, I figure we must have saves on our equipment as well, right? So the very first thing that we're going to do now is we're going to head over to our game instance. We are going to bundle this together with our inventory save so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new variable here we're going to call this one saved eq for equipment slots this is going to be of type master right uh, that has to be an array as well and compile and save when we initialize our save game object on our inventory what we're going to do is we're going to get our save game and we need to also add it to our inventory save so let's open that inside our inventory save Add a, another variable, save DQ slots, same as before, an array of master item. Compile and save that, and we can close out our save game object. Out from our return value here, let's uh, set save DQ slots. We are going to set it to our EQ slots. And also while we're here, we're going to remove our save game. So right click and show and explore and then remove it so that I can generate a new one. On the, our load, we are gonna get the saved EQ slots and we are gonna set our saved EQ slots to the incoming one from our save game object. We're gonna head over into our equipment window and here on the graph, so we're gonna create a new custom event. And this one's gonna be called load EQ slots. Out from the sequence, add another pin. On then three, we're gonna type in load eq slots and call that event that we just created the load eq slots we're gonna cast to game instance so your game instance gonna be new game instance for me get the game instance out from it get the saved eq slots and we're just gonna set it here as well so i'm gonna set our inside our equipment windows eq slots to the incoming one from the game instance out from the return here, we're going to do a for each loop. And for each of the entries, what we want to do is we want to check if it's a valid class, because it might not be valid. It might be a empty slot. We want to check if it's valid. And if it is valid, we want to use item at index, which will come from our HUD ref. Get the inventory ref. And then use item at index. We don't have an index to put in and we don't want it to be at zero in case you have something in your inventory. So just put in a number that you know you're never going to use. So I'm going to put in 999 here. And the item is, of course, the array element. However, we don't have anything saved here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another custom event. And this one is going to be called save EQ slots. We also want to go up here we, where we found our widgets where we got all the widgets and we set all the hard refs out from the found widgets you want to promote that array to a variable we're going to call this one eq slots back down on our save eq slots you're going to get your eq slots that we just made you're going to do a for each loop out from the element you want to get the item and as always we're going to check if it's valid do we have anything in our equipment slot yeah. And we're going to get our saved EQ slots and we're going to set the array element to the index. 
the item is our item from our slot size that to fit and then we head back into our first person character over here where we are hiding it we want to save our slots right because we are calling this to the save energy later now again it's going to be bugged for me so i can't move it like that what we want to do is we want to get our hud ref get your equipment window and save eq slots from the equipment window after that is done you can proceed with the cast and then we can go into our eq slots here out from completed after it's gotten all of our info we want to cast to our game instance again in here we want to set the saved eq slots to the updated eq slots that we have once that is done, it's going to continue into the game instance. It's going to push to save inventory. Over on save inventory, we want to set, uh, grab out the save game object, set save EQ slots. And you want to set that to the updated one that we just created. If I compile it, save that and hit play. We can equip our item 14.25210. I go out, I play again, and nothing's going to work. Ah, there we go. 14 to, I really hope, 14 to 5. Okay, let's double check that. 14 to 5. Okay, so it's lagging a little bit. We actually have to probably get that sorted where we use our items, because I'm feeling like that is where our issues are. Could we possibly just add a tiny delay here so that it doesn't try to do it all at once? And I think it's because of our index, honestly. Let's 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 put the index down to 999. Okay, so that's a lot smoother already. However, there's an issue. Okay, the issue was uh, was because of our old save, I believe. So I removed our old save and now it's loading in as it should. Yeah, so everything looks to be working just fine. That was all. It's a short little video, and uh, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you create amazing things. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.